previously on Clueless. We're broke. So we have to sell the house? Oops. Motivated seller alert. Amber, you got a lot of stones to hold Cher's annual pool party in Cher's pool. How did you put it, Amber? With Cher in Hooterville, we are what's up at Bronson Alcott. <laughs> <laughs> what I learned is nothing will stop my march to the front of the parade. Speaking of which, how's it working out with that grandson of his? I love something I don't know too much about, but uh, I'm willing to learn. Mel, like a dead fish at my crick. The water tastes bad. You have the word of Mel Horowitz. We will get to the bottom of this. The old guy was right. The lab report does show toxic chemicals in his creek. What's a big rig doing going up in the hills in the middle of the night? Maybe he's up to something he can't do in a daylight. I can't take it anymore. I need a share fix. Murray, Sean, let's go. Go? Go where? Bakersfield. Bakersfield? Oh, that sounded bad. Pull over. T, chill. It's nothing. It's nothing. This is so not happening. Uh, Murray, what does a smoking transmission in the middle of the highway look like? She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can't deceive. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She'll steal you away. Not just for one day. It's almost hard to imagine that I was once a girl totally consumed by trends, makeup, and fashion. Although, I still say this waitress getup makes my butt look big. But the coolest thing about my economically challenged situation is Dean. Who knew I'd fall for a guy from the wrong side of the grease rack? Yet Dean's a prime candidate for that day when I'm finally ready to pull up to the full service pump. Dion, you realize it's possible to get out and push while you steer, right? You tell that to your partner, okay? The one that kept saying, chew, it's nothing, chew. I don't have to check the oil. D, I I messed up, okay? I'm admitting to it, so please cease the guilt trip. Could it be any hotter? I think I just sweated out one of my livers. Yo, Billy Bob, slap some sunscreen on that neck of yours and move along. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> Man, if we hear one note of that banjo music, cover me. I'm making a run for it. I was hoping maybe we could catch a movie when you're done here. Great idea. Oh, except here comes some more work. That's not more work, that's Dion. Cher! Oh my... Ah, Dion, what are you doing here? Oh, I had to see you in person. We so have to talk. Oh, you look fabulous. Is this new? Yeah, thanks. You look fabulous, but... You know this dress makes your butt look big. Oh, it's a Davenport dress. You haven't mellowed a bit. <laughs> and you guys, what are you doing here? Oh, just missing you, girl. Hi, you look great. Oh, can I get some love? Yes. Great. <laughs> oh, I'm um, Dean. This is Sean and Murray. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? All right. Hey, how you doing? 
Nice to meet you. Nice hat. I'm gonna get one of those. And right this now. is my number one best deal. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Wow, your eyes aren't too close together or anything. Oh, never mind. Right, Dean. Uh, I think you can fix this. Hmm. Oh, it's hard to say. Let's uh, get in the shop and take a look. See. <laughs> take a look. See. I love it when they use that high tech mechanic terminology. <laughs> take a look. See. Sheriff, that boy is corn-fed, grade-A, lean, USDA choice cowboy. You think? Think? I'd let him rope me like a doggy. And I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, he's also a Pisces. He likes moonlight walks. And he's a freshman at Steinbeck JC. He's a college boy, yes. too? Tell me he's a triplet, so I can have two just like him. The diagnosis on Murray's car is so sadly terminal that not even my Noah Wiley worthy bow can jolt it back to life. <laughs> Dean's driving to Fresno tonight to pick up a new engine for Murray. Well, Dee, the guys and I get to enjoy an unexpected but oh so overdue reunion. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Hey, guys, there's an old storeroom out back with a couple of cots you can book on tonight. A, a, a cot in a storeroom? Well, Sean, I, I know it's not a downfield futon, but it's what we have. Oh, no, no, I just meant nothing. Old storeroom sounds great, Mel. Good. Come on, follow me. It's your bug thing, isn't it? I don't like bugs, OK? Especially bugs the size of the ones around here. I saw a bug at that gas station the size of a small cat. Sean, that was a small cat. Now, let's go. OK, it's care package time. It's all this. Oh, just a few personal items I put together for you. First, we have your favorite moisturizer from that skin spa you love. Oh, killer. I never thought I would see another tube of this. A bottle of nail hardener they don't even make anymore. I'm down to my last two. We're sharing. D, I couldn't. It's done. OK. And finally, put that in a safe place. Oh, my god. Not the DiCaprio napkin. And it still has the clam sauce on it that he wiped from his chin before we snagged it. Oh! Dee, we have had such good times together. Oh, you can't even believe how bumming I am over the concept of senior year without you. I know. I'm sad, too. Sad enough to end this bogus field fiasco and come home where you belong? Dee, don't even go there. I'll just start crying again. I'm sorry, Cher. I'm just going to have to risk it. My mom redecorated the guest room. Your dad already said that you could spend senior year with me. I don't see the problem. The problem is this is my life now, Dee. It doesn't include credit cards and weekends at Palm Springs and health spas. But the people here have been really wonderful to Daddy and me. I mean, I actually like my job, minimum wage and all. Can you understand that? I guess I don't understand anything anymore. Look, for now, this place and this situation is my destiny. And I've accepted that. I need you to accept it, too. <laughs> As usual, you so have it going on in the dealing with life department. Oh, thank you, Dee. I am officially abandoning the Saving Private Horowitz mission. <sighs> and after a totally heinous summer alone, I finally get to spend some quality time with you before I leave tomorrow, and nobody is going to take that away from me. <laughs> oh, Cher, I've made a horrible, horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, what's wrong? Uh, 
What's wrong is you let this backstabbing little witch into your house. Is there a wounded animal in here? Oh, man, that's no animal. It's Amber. He was right the first time. Look, I came all this way to ask you, no, beg you for your forgiveness. Oh. Denied. Say, that was fun. Dion, have a heart. Oh, no, Cher, I'm with Dion on this one. All right, Amber was at her house, really your house, totally disrespecting you. Yeah, telling everybody she's what's happening at Bronson Alcott now that you're gone. Really? Mm-hmm. It's pretty harsh. If, if you just hear me out and then you all still want me to go, I will get back in that taxi in a heartbeat and, and you can shun me for the rest of my days. That sounds pretty fair to me. Dion? Preparing to shun. Cher, I did try to take your place in the pecking order, but I had no idea it was so much work. I mean, listening to people and, and pretending to care about their hair and their clothes and every little detail of their stinky little lives. I mean, how did you find the time? I, I am not comfortable being alpha dog. I do better as the provocateur, the, the outsider, firing shots from the perimeter. I'm not warm and squishy. I'm prickly, always moving like a really cute shark. I, I want to go back to where I was. Please. Well, up here I'm pretty much out of the mix. Sean? I guess it's OK by me. Mer? Well, Amber can be cool. Freaky. Cool. D? Fine. Oh, thank you. I swear you won't be sorry, but Dean. in return for this, someday I'm going to ask you to perform a service for me. It will be done immediately without complaint or discussion. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Great. I'll tell the taxi he can go. You already told him to go? I, uh, had great confidence in your compassion and understanding. Plus, Taxi Boy wanted out. He was still bugging for when this big rig almost ran us into a ditch. Wait, what big rig? This huge Darth Vader-looking truck. It was heading into the hills. Oh, my God, these hills? When? Maybe an hour ago. What? Breaker, breaker, good buddy. Why the sudden interest in monster trucks? Oh my god, we have to try and get a look at that truck. Hurry. Ooh, we're going on a caper. I love capers. Amber, cap it, OK? Oh, done. Oh, was that the service that you meant? Are we even now? Yeah, right. Nice try. Man, I just pray she's got some insect repellent. Again with the bugs already. Hey, Sean, chill. If we can see who's dumping the stuff, contaminating the water, Daddy can use us as witnesses to stop it. Cher, you know, it's getting pretty late. Maybe they knocked off early. Uh, what, like the polluters union has a rule against night work? Sorry, sorry. Old Amber. New Amber, sincerely concerned. Whoosh. What was that? It's coming from over that ridge. Okay, let's go. Unless you're scared there might be bugs up there. Murr, I am not scared of bugs. I'm insectorally challenged. That's the stuff killing the fish in Dean's grandfather's stream. What do you think it is? It's a pretty good chance it ain't fish food, Bugsy. Mm, sorry. Old Amber, we hate her. Go call the cops. Great, no service. I hate this hick town. So what are we supposed to do? We need a license number off the truck, something Daddy can use to bust these guys. I'm gonna crawl down there and get a better look. I've seen this a million times when I'm touched by an angel. <laughs> hey, that angel got out a lot of tight scrapes for a big woman. Come down from there, now. Yeah! Says who? Says me. <laughs> My little friend. I said, move it. Come on. And just how long do you think you can keep us here? 
About as long as I want. Ouch! Not so tight. Oh, stuff it, Dion. I have had a butt full of your whining. You know, I just want to talk to you about what you're doing here, mister. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. <laughs> That's so weak, it's almost cute. You got something to say, so say it. That junk in those drums won't just kill the fish. It's going to kill this entire planet. People like you are responsible for sentencing your own innocent children to the death penalty. I mean, does that make you proud? As a peacock. Plus, the pay is good. You, uh, you about done there, Red? <sighs> They're not going anywhere for a while. <laughs> now, let's talk about us. Amber! I have spent way too long listening to her tedious enviro babble. <laughs> Take me away from all this big man. Okay. Hey! I, I, I totally feel there could be something special between us. Oh, there totally will be. About 500 miles. Toodles. I can't wait to tell a police sketch artist about your fat head, weak chin, and thin lips. Amber, I can't believe you tried to get with that guy. Uh, hello. I snagged the big idiot's wallet. All right. Nice going, Amber. Who knew that klepto phase that blemished my junior high years would actually pay off? Well, that's not going to help us if we're stuck here all night. <sighs> oh! Man, Sean, you got a big-ass beetle or something on the back of your neck. Where? Get it off me! I, I can't. I'm tied up, too. Hey, Murr. That was cold. No, it was smart. Now I'm tired of the rest of us. Oh. Thanks to Amber and Murray's quick thinking and Sean's muscle-bound naivete, police caught up with the bad guys before daylight. <laughs> Turns out Mr. Shotgun was pocketing the money the company assumed he was spending on safe disposal. But the most unexpected surprise of all was still to come. Ooh, man, that sounds better than new! <laughs> How much did it cost? Well, let's see here. Including new engine, new transmission, and labor. Just under 12 grand. 12? What? Hey, Sean, it's time to help a buddy out. For 12 G's? <laughs> Your name must be Genie, because you are dreaming. <laughs> Murray, relax. Got my pal up in Fresno to do it under warranty. Oh, man, I could just kiss you. <laughs> I'll take care of that. Hmm. Welcome back. So I heard you ran into a little luck truck hunting last night. That wasn't luck. Well, either way, the company's offering us a big settlement, so uh, we don't sue. Who? How big? Yahoo! That big? Ooh. With juries handing out huge judgments against polluters, the company was willing to pay big time to keep this out of court. Yeah! So, your grandfather's rich? That's what I'm hearing. Like he won the Powerball, and as his lawyer, my cut is a third, which uh, comes to, uh, well, let me do the math. Forget the math. Is it enough to get you and Cher back to Beverly Hills and Bronson Alcott? Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> Wait a second. Amber! I am in the shower, mid loop -a cycle. We'll get out of the shower. It's time. Have you thought about where you're going to live yet? Dee, it's been like 10 seconds. Of course not. Doesn't matter. I have. My split ends are going to be on your head. What? It's time for you to perform that service we talked about. Shara's going to be needing her old house back. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No, you pick something else. Please, you, you can no. have my dad. No. My mom? No. Your dog? No. <laughs> Teen, can you believe this? Dean? I'm pretty sure he went outside. Yeah, he's not a happy cowboy. Hey. Okay. Shouldn't you be celebrating, too? I would be if I just won something instead of just lost it. 
You know, um, I dropped into your world for a while. Maybe you could drop into mine. I'd like that. I'd like it a whole bunch. <laughs> Destiny always has its casualties. Sometimes it's new love, other times it's old money. Either way, you gotta go with the flow. Okay, Trip, let me get this straight. We buy this mausoleum so your little princess can be popular. Now we have to move out for the same reason? Once again, Ginger, you've captured the crux of the situation in your calm, non judgmental way. Ah! Uh, she's uh, basically okay with it. <laughs> oh, oh, you're welcome. Love you, Moonbeam. Ah, back where we belong. The circle of life is complete. Yes, Simba, don't get Frappuccino on your whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I wonder what the common people are doing right now. Hey, don't even joke about that, Sean. Bakersfield taught me you don't need all this to be happy. So true. My bad. Yeah, but you must admit, luxury does take the edge off a nasty world. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you know, Sean, once is funny, twice is lame. Hey, oh. that's not me. Oh. And that's no candy bar! Oh. Oh. this provocateur role so much more. <laughs> <gasps> Woo!